Let me just give it uh, some mini lecture just uh, off, the, off the, which is not a topic of this course, but uh, uh, which is very elementary. Then uh, <laughs> you probably see what I'm talking about. Okay? Then I just ask you at the end, so then just uh, answer my question. I mean, the question is, what, what am I talking about? Okay? So. Okay. Um. Everyone knows how to do this, right? <laughs> Without calculator. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. usually when I teach or if I have students, they like to use calculator to do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't need, right? Yeah. So what's the answer for that? So you usually get the answer, right? How do you get it? Right. So in other words, so you just count the number of zero, right? So this is two zero, and this is three. Then you really add it. So two plus three is five, right? Then you just write the number of zero, right? Okay. Five zero, right? So in other words. This says when you wanna cut, when you wanna multiply, then you can actually reduce this to the addition, right? Yeah. And uh, of course, you can do this because uh, you just happen to get a very nice numbers here. Okay? And uh, long time ago, people are just dreaming of doing uh, this kind of thing for uh, any number. Okay? Not only that. How do you do this? Can you do this quickly? <laughs> yeah, nowadays you have calculator. But uh, this actually theory just uh, came up 500 years ago, where the no calculators are available, right? These days. How do you do this quickly? Well, uh, this is not the path of the, this is not the easy number, so you cannot do it, right? So, your first job is to somehow you associate okay, the number like this. This is, so to speak, like a size. Size of the number. Okay? So you just associate the size to this, then reduce this. This is not so easy. Okay? You reduce this to the plus. Then you just uh, do the addition instead. Then you get the answer. Okay? So, so let's, let's do this. Okay? But uh, let me just do this for the easy number. Like, uh, you know, the, the basic principle is here. You just look at the, the number of zero. Let's call this size. So I associate like a one zero, right? So this is a two zero, three zero, and then four zero. And then this is maybe the no zero, right? So size zero. And then, um, OK. So let's look at the uh, figure out the size between 1 and 10, for example. What is the size of 2? Okay. Then to figure this out, so let's look at the uh, 2 raised to 10. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? How much? You can use calculator. <laughs> 2, 4, 8. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, get the approximate answer, okay? So this is close to the 1,000, so let's just ignore this, okay? Drop 24. So this is approximately equal to the 1,000, okay? So in other words, this is approximately equal to size 3, because you have a number, okay? The number of zero is 3. Then, I want to know size of 2. 
but this is unknown at this point. So let's just call this x. So this is x. So they all correspond to x. Then our fundamental principle is reducing the multiplication into the addition here. Okay? So now this becomes plus. So now we get a new equation like this, okay? involving x. But how many x's? 10. 10 x's. So what's a better way to write this? 10 x, right? It's just uh, 10 x. So you have 10 x equals to 3, which is easy to solve. Namely, x equals to 0.3. Okay? So this way, I approximately get the size of 2, which is 0.3. Okay? Then, um, I can just keep playing this game you know, for other numbers. For example, so since 2 times 2 equals to 4, and we just got the size of 2 to be 0.3. So this is 0.3. And then our principle is this becomes plus. Right? So this tells you the size of 4 which is 0.6. Okay? You can also do pi, for example, okay? by using by using how do you get 0.7? Yeah, by using subtraction, right? Okay. So now this is missing. So x, and uh, we already know this. So this gives you a size of five to be 0.7. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, well, I can do more. Uh, maybe one more. Um, about uh, seven. Yeah. Sometimes, you know. And uh, the number like this, so you have to do some approximation here. Okay? So like a 7 times 7, that's 49. So this is roughly, that's approximately equal to 50. Okay? So, so that's equal to 5 times 10. Then I want to know the size of 7, okay? which is unknown. So x plus x, and that equals to, well, I just got size of 5 to be. 0.7, right? Plus size of 10, which is 1. Okay? So now I got the new equation okay, as before. So which is 2x equals to 1.7. Then you divide by 2. So you get x equals to 0.85. Okay? So uh, well, if I just work a little harder, then I can get uh, more, but uh, now let me just tell you the result. Okay. Um, keep playing this game. I approximately get the following table. So between zero and one, I got 0.3, and now say roughly 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, and then I got 0.85, 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 .5. Okay. So this is only approximate value. And now the question is, uh, how is it useful? Yeah. And then uh, remember, the, I want to reduce the multiplication into the addition here. Right? Okay. So now let me show you the, how you can use this.
So what you have is like uh, this works like a handy calculator. Okay, long time ago. Um, so let me show you. So for example, um, so if you want to calculate like nine plus seven, then. Uh, Look at the table for the addition, and then you just locate nine, okay, and then locate seven, okay, and then you just connect these by the ruler, and then you just read all fast crossing, okay, so which is sixteen, okay. or uh, let me try one more. Like so, like you wanna do three plus nine okay. is then do the same thing. Okay. So you just uh, pick the three and nine, okay. and then connect. Then you just uh, read off the intersection. Okay, the last crossing okay. or the mid right. Then you get work. Okay? And uh, well, you probably know how this works, right? Okay? This is not so surprising in a sense because uh, um, if you look at the, the how the numbers are labeled, you know? so this is just equal space from the 0 to 10. Okay? Uh, here is 0 to 10. Okay? Then this one is 0 to 20 instead, it just all double, right? Okay. Without this, you just get the average of the A and B. This is this is the line for the A. Okay. This is a B. And then the middle one is just average. But uh, since I want to know the sum, right? That's why I, I just want to cancel this. To do this, I have to double okay, in advance to get a to get a plus B. So. Um, So this is probably not surprising, but uh, what's really surprising is the next one. Uh, if you look at uh, another table. So it's in multiplication. So for example, um, let's look at uh, 8 times 5. Okay. Then Now you look at the 8, and then 5, on the this line, okay? on the this line in the right end. And then, again, you connect. Okay. Then you get 40. Okay. Then uh, well, if I show you only one example, so you might say this is just coincidence, but actually uh, it just works all the time. Okay? So that's the point. Um, like two times eight. Then I get sixteen. Okay. So now the the question is, why why does this work?